State College Police are still investigating a deadly crash Monday afternoon that involved a scooter and a car. Now, police say they're not sure if either vehicle actually went through a red light. Aaron Calandra is in State College with more. Aaron? Marty, witnesses say the vehicles crashed in this intersection after the light turned red, but police say they're not sure yet if there were actually any violations. But people who live in this neighborhood say they're not interested in technicalities. They're interested in saving lives, and they hope that now something will be done to improve the safety at this intersection. Fresh flowers are added to an already existing makeshift memorial at the corner of North Atherton Street and Park Avenue, along with a sign mourning the loss of yet another person killed at this intersection, an intersection that locals say is infamous for cars running red lights. This intersection is a dangerous intersection. We all know that. This is the most hazardous intersection there is. Police say 39-year-old Joel Reed of Port Matilda died in this accident. Police say Reed was driving a scooter northbound on Atherton when he and this car turning left onto Park Avenue collided. Witnesses say the accident happened after the light turned red, but police haven't determined yet if there were any traffic violations. But people who live here are fed up. I think what's shocking is it's not shocking. It is uh, unique that uh, there hasn't been more of that up to this point. Residents have been vocal about their concerns for over a year now, sending a petition with hundreds of signatures to local lawmakers and our state legislatures demanding red light cameras, an option they feel will make things safer, but they say nothing has been done. The president of the College Heights Association, Donna Queenie, says she got this response from Senator Jake Corman's staff. I'm quoting here, the legislature does not have an appetite for red light cameras. She hopes this latest accident will be the last. I have great respect and admiration for and appreciation of our state legislators, but they need to do something for us here. We did speak with the lo local representative's office who says they do support giving the borough the option of putting up red light cameras, but they say they're up against a wall. Hear more about that coming up at 6 o'clock. For now, live in State College, Erin Calandra, 6 News.